what is up guys welcome back to another deer ass golf video this is part three of part three again we are at uh cedar home in roseville minnesota uh part three course um we're just trying to set a mark right now just so that we can come back during the later months um see if we can't you know beat my record uh if you haven't seen the last two videos go ahead and go check them out um link in the description will be down below uh, we are plus one right now because of a terrible chip that I just had on the last hole. Didn't feel comfortable over, just kind of kind of clicky. Um, so we got three holes left, I believe. The longest is like 130, 33 yards. So we're gonna try to get aggressive, see if we can't get one back, kind of a kind of set of a, a lower goal here. So that way we gotta come out and shoot birdies every single day. So let's get into it. We got 107. That's just a few yards longer than I would like for a 56. So we're gonna go 52. Even though the wind is going a little right, I think a nice little three quarter knock down 52 should be the right number here. Yeah, like I said, not the greatest of swings there. Um, definitely rushed it. It was not as smooth as it should have been or could have been. Um, so we got about, I'd say another 15 footer here for birdie. Another park. Yeah, I just didn't like that one. Came out of it again. Way too much lateral movement. Um, we got about another, I'd say about a five yard chip here. Just off the green on the right. See if we can't put it close or chip it in because we only got one hole left to get back to even. Just kind of get it on the green and let it be. It is downhill. It should be breaking a little right now. Just got to get it on the green. Got about a foot and a half here. Thought, thought I had that one. Just gotta clean it up, put it in the center of the cup, move on. Can't be mad. Alright, All right, guys. Um, we are on our final hole here. Uh, it is another par three, as you could guess. Um, I think we're looking at around probably a hundred and it's going to be about 120, maybe 130 ish. Again, I don't want to swing all out on a 52. So we might choke down and play like a three quarter pitching wedge. Uh, we'll get the final number here shortly. Um, but hopefully you guys like this. Um, 
because I know I'm going to try to make this a series, at least do it maybe once a month. Um, try to get, you know, three videos out of it again, like three holes. Um, try to break my record challenge. Right now we are at plus one. Last hole, I thought I'd chip it in, get it back to even, but you just can't be missing greens out here, honestly. I mean, it comes down to it's 114 yards. You shouldn't be going at a right pin that's, you know, only five, five paces off the right side, three paces off the right side. There's no point. Throw it at the center of the green, let it cut back to the hole like normal. So, but it's all right. You learn, it's how you come out here, practice, we grind, we get better. So let's see what we can do here. Never mind, we got 112. Uh, All right, so this is what we're looking at here. Um, probably about a 12 footer here, maybe 15. Prep, best break chance that we've had all day, really. Um, it's below the hole. See if we can't get aggressive here. Maybe slight left. Right in the heart of the shit again. Oh. Left another one short again. All right. Honestly, that was pretty disappointing. Um, best birdie opportunity I had all day and left it short again, right in the heart, about a foot and a half short. Um, but that's gonna do it. Um, hopefully you guys like this, like this kind of video. Um, well, like I said, we'll be doing probably one a month here, doing a three-part series, you know, nine holes, try to beat my record out on this course. Um, honestly, I really like part three courses because, I mean, you spend more time on your approach shots than anything, and that's how you're going to score. So you got to get your irons dialed in, and you got to get your putts rolling. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Like I said, um, stay tuned for the next one. If you do enjoy it, please like, um, subscribe, you know, all that jazz. And then just keep a lookout on all my social media. You know, I'm posting on there quite quite frequently, probably every every day or every other day. So just be on the lookout for that. Until next time, guys.